Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyantra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to use tooltip in Power BI. I have created these two chart in Power BI and this is the Power BI services view. So I'll show you the tooltip which I have created. So here I have used default tooltip, but you can see I have changed the background color of the tooltip as yellow and font color as black so how can you change the background color as per your requirement i will tell you in this video i'll show you one more functionality of tooltip that is i have created entire tooltip page whenever you will hover any of the supervisor slice then you can see this little bit bigger tooltip which is displaying like this is the supervisor one total sales of supervisor one is 401 and now you are seeing the bifurcation of the employee which are coming under this supervisor the sales are available employee wise if you will hover on the supervisor 2 you can see the number and chart will be changed automatically all right so this is very useful feature available in power bi you will learn in this video so let's start I'm going to Power BI desktop application. So this is the file which I have created. All right, now I will explain you how to use this from the starting. So what I will do, I'll create a new file and I will explain you on the new Power BI desktop application file. So this is the new file. Now let me close this and I will get data from Excel. So I have the data available in this folder. So let me copy this path and I will paste this here. I will select this data. In this Excel file, I have one table only. This is the sales table. Just check this and this is pretty small sample data set. Now I'll click directly load. Okay, so this sales table loaded successfully in power bi. You can see the data is available here. Now quickly I will create a small chart employee wise and i will take the sales and i will create this chart which is clustered column chart all right so this chart is available here now if i will hover here then i will see this default tool tip. the background color is black and the font color is light gray if you want to change this default tool tip and you want to show some background color then how can you do that just select this chart go to the format here and now just scroll it down you can see this option available tooltip just click here so the features will be expanded now here you can change the label color let's say i'm just taking black and value color again i'm taking black if you want to change the size you can change it if you want to change the font family let's say i'm taking font family this one and now background color so i want to take the background color let's say this yellow one if i will hover here then you can see it has changed that is how you can change the background color font color font name or the font size in a tool tip if you will take font size slightly bigger then you can see here now it's quite bigger all right now i'll tell you how can you create a entire page for tooltip so first of all i will create this donor chart or pie chart and here i will display supervisor wise sales just click here and click here so this is the supervisor wise sales if you want to display here the percentage you can go to the format and in detail label you can display category and percentage of total so you can see the percentage is also available there now what i will do i'll go to the new page so i'll add a new page click on this plus button this new page page 2 has been added now i will go to the format and here i'll go to the page information first make sure you have enabled the tooltip so this is off just enable this first then go to the page size and here this is the 16 by 9 ratio here I will select tooltip this one this is the size of tooltip now I will create my tooltip page you can design it as per your requirement 
so what i am going to do here i will take supervisor name first and this supervisor name i will display on a card so i will select this card all right so it has been changed with a card make this little bit of a smaller like this now i'll go to the format category label i will disable i need only data label and here i will change the size i will take around 40 and font name i will take this one now if you want to take some background color you can take let's say i'm just going to take a background color enable the background and background color i'll take this one you can remove the transparency if you want now i will make a copy of this card and i will put this card here on the second card i will show total sales so i will move this sales here in this field now it is displaying the total sales if you want to show the category label you can enable this for this so this is displaying sales you can change color as black size is smaller now here we can create a small chart for employee wise sales so i can take employee then i can take sales here then i can convert this table into this chart the cluster bar chart so this chart is available here now i don't want to show this title here right so i'll go to the format of this chart then i'll go to the title just off this title now if you want to change the color of x axis and y axis so we don't need the x axis here so just remove the x axis for the y axis i'll take color as black and text size we can take little bit of a smaller font name we will take this one say you bold and now you can change the data color if you want to change let's say i'm just taking this yellow one and now i will add data label and i will format the data label also i'll take black color here this one all right so now it is looking good now i will go to the page one you can rename this page to whatever you want to rename like uh, i'm just putting supervisor tooltip okay now i'll go to the page one wherein my this chart is available now here i'll select this chart i'll go to the format and then i will go to the tooltip just expand the tooltip feature here you can see i have selected report page but the page name is auto so i'll go to the page name and i have created a tooltip page which is supervisor tooltip so this is available here now just select this all right now just come back to chart if you will hover here you will see that tooltip is available you can go anywhere all right now you can save this file and you can publish this to the service all right friends so that is how you can use tooltip feature in power bi I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.